Hey there everyone, uh, just a little quick video here just to catch you up on a few things. Uh, unfortunately, camera ran out of battery last time when I was filming and um, missed a couple of things. Uh, firstly, did eventually manage to get that tool in place. Uh, I had to put uh, some grease on the end that uh, goes into the harmonic balancer uh, to help it go in. Uh, I also had to give it a bit of uh, persuasion with a hammer to fit and then the bolt at the top there did uh, line up with its hole and screwed in quite easily. I also went ahead and tightened the centre bolt on the harmonic balancer. Uh, if you can see here I've got that axle stand position there. Um, what I did is um, use that to uh, support that 27mm socket on the extension bar there. Um, started off with a uh, an adapter in the end there and my torque wrench. Uh, torque wrench is a half inch drive, that's a three quarter drive breaker bar. Uh, so I had the torque wrench into that. The setting is 160 newton meters, then half a turn or 180 degrees. Now uh, the 160 newtons was quite easy. Uh, the next step uh, to do that half turn is incredibly hard work. I started off with a two foot bar, a three quarter inch drive, and I, I didn't even manage to get a quarter turn with that. So I then had to move on to using a four foot breaker bar, and I, I couldn't do it. Uh, you know, by strength, I basically had to put my weight into the bar in order to do it. So be warned, this is um, it's a pretty heavy duty task and don't attempt to do that up if you have any you know, condition where you're not supposed to overexert yourself. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten those four Allen bolts that are in there. The setting for those I believe is 20 newton meters, then 90 degrees or quarter of a turn. Hey there everyone, this is um, just another little catch up video. Um, I've got finished around the other side of the engine there. I, as I said, tightened up the centre bolt, tightened up the four bolts around the outside, removed the locking tool, which fortunately came out a lot easier than it went in, uh, reinstalled the screw into the block, which, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure exactly what function that serves, it just fills the hole where the, the, the tool screws into when you're tightening uh, the, the screws on the crankshaft pulley. And then of course uh, put the wheel arch liner back, put the wheel back on, lowered it down, torqued the wheel on and uh, pretty much finished around that side. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next part which is to reinstall the injection pump. Hope you found this useful and see you in the next one.